Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a new guide where I'm going to show you guys how to get Phoenix Tears. I've got the syringe on me, so I've pressed three. I'm going to go directly to the syringe, and I just want to put the pistol on my quick slot. Okay. Now, Blue is going to attract Brenner, but he's going to do the maximum amount of damage with an M82. So he's going to shoot Brenner in the head with an M82. That's going to stun him. And while he's stunned, Blue's going to shoot 100 M82 rounds into him. Once Brenner's charge gets close to him, he's going to run through those gates. And I'm going to see if I can get a fresh sam sample of blood where he's standing. So, here we go. Three, two, one, go. He forgot to load the magazine. No worries, that's what's still work. Now he's coming to me. You ran away like... Away. Run away, I need to get to the blood. Oh, well, now I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm at the blood samples, but nothing is happening. Remove from hands, examine, drop, examine. I'm at the blood samples and it's fresh. You do yourself, I'm gonna take stun law. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We just got we just got the Phoenix Tears from us reach, ladies and gentlemen. I'll drop another one, just give me a sec. The syringe is medical advice, you can withdraw fluids like blood injection. No, th that's one I had on me, guys. Th that's one I had on me. I had I had I had these Phoenix Tears on me. I extracted it. I did extract it. I don't know where I extracted it to. But you guys clearly saw the blood. You clearly saw the blood. You saw the blood, guys. You saw the blood. I just don't know where the heck it went. I extracted it with this syringe. Oh, okay, I figured it out. You do hit him in the stomach. Okay. I just dropped more blood. <laughs> shoot, 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 shoot. There we go, there we go. No, it doesn't stay for long. It doesn't stay for long. It disappears really, really quickly. Maybe it disappeared before I could extract it. I've got no feeling stairs on me. Do it again. Uh, well, but... It disappears really, really, really quickly. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Clearly, the blood sample comes from Mr. Brenner randomly. 
Uh, me and Blue did shoot him a lot after that, after Blue thought he figured it out. So according to Blue, you have to hit him in the stomach. Um, but I think the combination of the M82 and the M249 is a good combination to get the blood out. I think it's a very random chance. I think that the second blood sample disappeared because of the razor that fell on the blood because you guys will see that if two razors, if there's a dead razor and you kill another razor and it falls on the first razor, that razor disappears. So I think it's the fact that the razor fell on the sample of blood that made it disappear. Um, I did look at the footage on the first sample of blood. I did complete the extraction. Um... I don't know if the if what I extracted was lying on the ground, okay? That is a possibility as well because I did extract it, but I didn't have it on me, okay? So maybe there's a, maybe it leaves a sample of Foo Phoenix tears on the ground. I know I only had one syringe on me, but yes, clearly it is in the game, okay? It's not a myth. It is in the game. Um, you can let it happen. The only thing that me and Blue discussed is the amount of ammo and the, you know, the randomness of it. If it happened a lot more often, I would say it was worth it. But the randomness of it and the cost of it because of the amount of ammo that you have to use and the risks that you have to take to get to it, I don't feel is worth it. Um, according to me and Blue, it's much better just going through to every single bunker, you know, and trying to get the Phoenix Tears like that, although there are much less normal bunkers out there. Um, we just, personally, we didn't feel it was worth it. We will rather go and loot those seven normal bunkers and um, try and get the Phoenix Tears that way. So it is in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor and click that like button. And if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about Scum, then click the subscribe button. Cheers, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just a final note um, that I thought about right now is the fact that I never right-clicked on the syringe, okay? I was expecting like three uses or something that looked like Phoenix Tears, but clearly you guys, if you go, guys go back in the video, you will see that I did extract it with a syringe. So when I walked to the blood sample, I had the original Phoenix Tears in my hand. But then when I extracted the blood, I immediately equipped the normal syringe and then extracted the blood. So, and I looked on the ground, nothing spawned on the ground. So the only thing that I didn't do in the video is right click on the syringe to see if I can inject myself with it. So my, my final thought is that if I ever right clicked on the syringe, then I would have been able to get a you know get one use of Phoenix Tears. Um, but I still stick to my point that I don't think it's worth it because you just get one Phoenix Tears use, where if you get lucky in a medical locker, then you get th three Phoenix Tears uses. So yes, it's still not worth it for me.